everybody, this is Katie. In today's video, we're gonna be making breakfast together, except it's at 12.40 in the afternoon. Um, but I had my little morning protein shake. I went to the gym, I just got home, and I really, really, really want some breakfast. Does it count as breakfast or lunch? Did the smoothie count as breaking my fast? I don't know. Regardless, I'm gonna be making a New York classic bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich, except with like a little bit of a Katie twist because of my food allergies. So if you've been watching me for the last year or so, and especially even the last few weeks, I've talked a lot about how I've been changing my diet because I have an esophagus disease, I have digestive issues, I have a bunch of food allergies and stuff. So I've been cutting food out, adding food back, trying all different types of diets to see what works specifically for me. And one of the things that I recently realized that I can eat is eggs. And you guys, I'm so excited that I'm not allergic to eggs, but I am allergic to dairy and I am allergic to gluten and a couple other things. And so this is gonna be like a modified bacon, egg and cheese sandwich, the way that I can make it, but it's still delicious. I made it for the first time yesterday with all these ingredients and I just wanna show you what I'm gonna be using and how easy it is to make a bacon, egg and cheese. And so I'm just going to put these burners on, well, the bacon one first, cause that just takes a minute or two longer and let me get all the ingredients and show you what I'm gonna be cooking with. All right, so first, cause I'm gonna put this bacon on right now cause I just turned the pan on. I just have some no sugar added hickory smoked uncured bacon. You can literally use whatever bacon you'd like. And I prefer my bacon really crispy. Um, like not burnt burnt, but like crispy crispy. So I'm just gonna put this on the pan now and let that hang out and cook while I show you the rest of the ingredients. There's just a couple really quick and simple sandwich. Okay, so that's that. And then I just have some organic eggs. These are Pete and Jerry's. I don't know, get whatever eggs you want. Um, and then the two more specific things that are catered to like the Katie Carney diet right now at least is that I'm using this Via Life, Via Life American sandwich slices. Um, so this is vegan, this is gluten-free, it's dairy-free, it's soy-free, it's nut-free as well because I'm currently not eating nuts. And so I can eat this. I tried it for the first time yesterday and it's actually pretty decent. Would I eat it cold? No, <laughs> but heat it up with a bunch of other flavors. This is actually pretty good. And from my experience, I did grow up on Long Island. I spent several years living on Long Island, probably a total of like 25 or 26 years. And in my experience, we generally use American cheese on like a classic bacon, egg and cheese sandwich. So obviously you can start hearing that bacon. Um, but anyway, so I have this and generally bacon, egg and cheese, I at least would always prefer them on a roll. However, I just don't have rolls right now. I know a lot of people like them on bagels and stuff too, but I'm just gonna eat mine on sandwich breads. So this is Canyon Bakehouse gluten-free mountain white. If you can find the heritage style one, it's bigger and really good, but this is just like the smaller loaf of bread that they have. Um, this is gluten-free, dairy-free, but it does have eggs, but again, I can eat eggs now. So that's okay with me and I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. I'm so excited that I can eat eggs again. So anyway, basically I'm gonna crisp up the bacon and then I'm going to fry an egg like somewhere between over easy and over medium. And then I'm going to heat up this bread on a pan because I don't have a toaster, but also I'm going to heat up this bread with the cheese on it. So almost like I'm making like an open faced uh, grilled cheese kind of, and then put the egg and then the bacon and assemble it. And I can't have ketchup anymore. I can't have tomatoes, but if I could have ketchup, I put a little ketchup on there too. Um, anyway. All right. So I know you're far away, but I'm literally just making sure the bacon's flat. All right. So now I'm going to heat up this pan so I can start the toast, essentially. So just two pieces of bread. Hold on, I'll bring you guys over in a second. Um, and then I'm going to use this. My favorite vegan cheese is the Follow Your Heart Provolone, but I just couldn't find it. I went to like four different stores and I couldn't find it. And so I wanna try this one. And again, it's pretty good. I probably would not eat it cold though. Should we try it cold? Hold on. Yeah. Um, Cause it doesn't, really tastes like cheese, but once it's mixed with other things and melted, it does have a decent texture. And this actually does melt pretty well. But anyway, I'm just gonna put that on here. I didn't put butter or oil or anything. You can if you want, obviously, but I just didn't need to. Um, all right, I'm gonna bring you over here for like a closer look of what's going on. That sizzle, guys. So after the bread is on the stove for, you know, 30 seconds or a minute or so, I like to put a little bit of water in there and then cover it. And that is what helps the cheese melt a little bit. And so right now, make sure that the pan is, yeah, pan is hot enough. So if you put a little bit of water, it'll like steam the cheese. Okay, it wasn't hot enough, but <laughs> when it does heat up enough, it'll be steam in there. You'll be able to see that a little bit. 
And again, I like my bacon really crispy, so I do kind of press it down. Let me know if you like these kind of cooking videos, um, because, you know, I've talked about my diet a lot and I've shown you some food, but especially since I was able to add eggs back and a couple other things back, like I added the cheese back, you know, um, I'm able to make a lot more recipes. So let me know if you like these videos and if you even have any like suggestions of like you want to see how I would make something. For example, if you're like, oh, Katie, I want to know how you would make um, tacos on your diet or something like that. Let me know in the comments and I'll see, you know, different recipes that I can alter with at least with my food allergies. Okay, flip the bacon and then the tricky part, there we go, it's like flattening the edges. And usually I wouldn't get something that says no sugar added because generally that means they would add fake sugar, but they didn't with this bacon. It's just no sugar at all. I think there might be, actually let me look at the ingredients, but yeah, I would rather have real sugar than fake sugar, but I remember these not having fake sugar either. But now I'm curious what's in here. Vinegar, oh, pomegranate extract. So instead of like fake sugar or cane sugar or anything, it needs pomegranates. All right, flip it one more time. This bacon is basically done. Just want to get like 10 more seconds on that other side. I'm actually already going to shut it off. But yeah, I like mine crispy. Crispy, crispy. And then I just sit this on a plate with a paper towel to drain the grease. I don't know if you can see this, but bacon plate. And even when they're on the plate, I try to flatten them out, especially if they're going to be on a sandwich because then they'll be flatter on the sandwich. All right. So that's going to hang out for a bit. Now let's check this. That burner's off. Let's check how this is going. The bread is getting a little toasty and that cheese starting to get soft but not melting yet. So, also that's sizzling not because I accidentally just got water in there. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, but now I'm gonna add more water in here. So the water in there will steam it and melt the cheese a little bit. So I got rid of that grease. Don't put grease down the drain or anything like that. I just put it in a bowl and then once it cools down a little bit, then I will dispose of it. But so I got rid of that. I'm going to turn this back on and make the eggs in here. You can also obviously cook the eggs in the bacon grease. I still would recommend taking some of the grease out though. And then you can cook them with that. I just prefer it with oil or butter. I'm going to pick you up and show you. The cheese is starting to melt on there. Obviously you can put the cheese on the eggs instead, but I just like to put it on the bread. Okay. So that is basically done. This pan is back on. Let's do a little olive oil and a little butter. So these eggs don't stick because I am going to be doing over easy, over medium. All right. I'm going to shut this off. That is good. I'm going to shut that off. I'm going to put bread on this plate too. All right. And then I really do want to decrease my seed oil intake, but I'm still going to use it sometimes. And so there are some seed oils in that cheese, the same as in this earth balanced butter, but with seed oils, I'm not allergic to them or anything. I'm just going to decrease the amount that I eat because I do believe that they can cause inflammation. So that's where I'm at with like the seed oils and stuff. So anyway, all right, that pan is a little too hot. I don't want these eggs to burn. I'm going to put all this stuff away, clean as you go. Makes it easier. I don't always do it, but when I do, it's a lot easier. And again, I would prefer a bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll, but I just don't have any right now, and it still is really good on that bread. All right. Nope, that's too hot. That's okay. There's two eggs in there. Yeah, too hot and too much oil for sure. That's okay. That is okay. We will make do. Right, let me lower you just a little bit. So you can see what's going on. How's that? Oh, and that broke. Dang it. Again, that's okay. All right, so don't do what I did. I broke my yolk. Don't do that unless you want to. <laughs> and I used too much oil and the pan was too hot. So, you know, that's okay. I'm not a chef. <laughs> I make mistakes sometimes. 
Oh, and I'm gonna put a tiny bit of salt on here before I cook them. Just a tiny bit because the cheese has a decent amount of salt in it. All right, I'm gonna truth. Flip, flip. Yeah, it's a little darker than I prefer them, but now that one's good. And that's still not bad. I just wish it was a tiny bit less dark, but again, it was too hot. That's okay. It'll still be delicious. Checking that yolk on this one at least. See how quick this was? I've only even been filming for less than 15 minutes. And when I film, things even take longer. Um, so this is a pretty quick breakfast or brunch or whatever. And I, you guys, I'm so excited that I can eat this. Like, I'm so excited. All right, just gonna make sure all the whites are cooked. This one, even though I broke it, that looks pretty good. All right, and you're looking good too. That still feels pretty good. All right, I'm gonna shut that off. And now let's assemble this sandwich. I'm gonna put you back on the other side. Can you see that? I think maybe, okay. So, take these eggs. Then, slices and I'll eat the other slice separately and then the piece right on top all right so this is what it looks like this knife in the way sorry hope you can see that that looks good that looks good all right let's try it okay thank you guys so much for my food in Jesus' name amen all right cheers Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. So good. And this cheese with it, again, with all the other flavors, I think is pretty good. I just wouldn't really eat it like cold or by itself. Um, but mixed in with these flavors. Really good. All right, where's that yolk? Let's see if we got it running. Oh, so hot. Mm -mm. I don't think I got it running. I had the pan too hot. That's okay. This is good. This is really good. I wish I had ketchup, but I can't have tomatoes anymore. I had a little hot sauce the other day and I felt okay. So I might be able to have a little bit of spice with certain things. Um, but with my bacon, egg, and cheeses, I generally prefer ketchup, but hot sauce might do the trick too. But anyway. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Eggs a little runny, but basically a true medium. Luckily, I like them all. It doesn't matter if I overcook it a little. <laughs> so yeah, I know that my diet has been changing like crazy lately. I'm, I'm not documenting every single day, but I have documented like a little bit of it. And so like with eggs, for example, I cut them out about a year ago for my esophagus disorder to see if that would help. And then with my esophagus disorder and the allergies and stuff, I'm allowed to try them back to see if they actually affect me. And so I tried eggs back like mid January and I felt totally fine. It's so exciting for me. Not only because I love eggs, I love eggs. And they're like really good protein. Um, but also in a lot of like baked goods that I like, gluten-free baked goods, dairy-free baked goods, there's still eggs in them. And so I'm just kind of excited that I can eat like that bread, for example, or I got some donuts the other day that I can have. Um, again, still like changing my diet and stuff, but adding eggs back, I have felt fine. I've also added a tiny bit of soy back, a tiny bit, and I felt fine. And like even adding this bread back and adding like this cheese, I feel totally fine. So. I think I'm starting to find some answers at least, which is, it's just like so exciting for me. Um, I definitely think that like mustard was a problem. I do think that potentially still certain vegetables were a problem like onions and garlic, maybe some spicy food may have been a problem. So I still, you know, have a decently long way to go in figuring out everything, but I figured out a lot. Cutting out mustard has helped. I do think cutting out like onions and stuff has helped, but adding eggs back, 
and a couple products with eggs in them. It's been totally fine. It's so exciting. Like, especially if you saw a video from a few weeks back, I talked about how sometimes my diet changes and how I don't really know if I'm going to get sick when I eat something, even if I've had it before. Sometimes it still might make me sick one day and stuff like that. Sometimes every once in a while it gets to me. And I made a video about that a few weeks ago saying like that it was like bringing me down and making me really sad and like scared to eat sometimes. But so now like that I'm excited to eat this and I know it's very unlikely that it will make me sick. It's just really exciting. It's really, really exciting for me. Um, and I'm sure if you have food allergies and stuff, you'll understand what I'm saying. Like when you find some foods that you enjoy that don't make you sick, it's like a game changer. So I'm very excited about this. All right, one more bite, then I'm gonna go. Well, I mean, I'm gonna keep eating this, but I'm gonna stop recording. I don't know if you can see how greasy my hands are. Too much oil on the pan, that's okay. Yesterday I made the perfect over easy egg, but of course I didn't film that one. <laughs> All right, anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed watching me make a little bacon, egg and cheese sandwich. I love this thing. I'm so excited that I can eat it. Please let me know in the comments any other food that you want me to see, any dietary questions that you might have. I'm not an expert by any means, but I know what I can eat and I do have some tips. If you are, you know, going gluten-free for the first time or anything like that, please let me know in the comments if you have any specific questions. Or again, if you have any like recipes that you want me to try, I would be happy to. I like cooking for you guys on camera. I think it's fun. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.